Welcome to the PokerStars Arena and the Stadium Series. It's Friday, it's the last day of July, it's hot outside. And in the words of Nelly, it's becoming really warm in here with a stacked lineup coming into day two of Heat 27 High. It's a PKO with some big bounties up for grabs. I'm James Hartigan alongside Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. Hey, uh, as long as we're doing this, in the words of LL Cool J, my mother instructed me to eliminate you from the tournament. One of his most famous lyrics. Uh, this last week of the Stadium Series is certainly delivering the goods. Let's check out the latest stats. We are on day 27, and 87 tournaments are in the books. More than 638,000 total entries, a prize pool of nearly $39 million and more than 5.4 million paid to winners. Uh, last night, Joe, we had a really fun three-way battle between Fedor Holtz, Simon Matson, and Scott Margerison. We enjoyed streaming it, and Fedor, it seems, enjoyed watching it. This commentary by Squid Poker, James and Joe on the 5K, was so fun for me to watch while playing. This three-handed action was super fun. Good game to see Darwin and Santos. I just came third for 70K. And it was Scott Margerison, Angry Santos, who won Heat 26 high for nearly 120K. Let's talk about tonight's action, shall we? It's Stadium Series, Heat 27 high. It's a 5K buy-in, eight max progressive knockout event. 97 runners, total prize pool of $500,000 as per the guarantee. 13 remain, they are all in the money. Let's take a look at the stacks of all 13 players, starting with the bottom six. Another deep run for Finton, easy with Ace's hand. We have got a former EPT champion, Ognon Dimov. C. Darwin 2 is in it again, plus Knossi. We will talk about how Nosella in just a moment. Let's have a look at the top seven, headlined by Dominic Nitscher, AKA Bunaturu. Nicholas Astet, Lena 900 is a fixture around these parts. We've also got Mike Sawatz Watson, Sevens Guy, Christian Rudolph back for more. Alex DeFelice, Dino a lot, who was the third place finisher in this year's Scoop main event. Everyone has already locked up six and a half thousand dollars plus the bounties they've already taken. Here are the payouts to the top finishers. Make it to the final table, you're looking at more than 8K. Yes, it looks like first and second get the same, but as we've said so many times when covering PKO events, the difference between the runner-up and the winner is based on that final head prize and the fact that the champion gets to keep their own bounty. So play is underway with two tables remaining. We'll stay across both as much as we can, but we are going to start on the table of Jens Nosella, a.k.a. Nossi. A guy, Joe, who we know from the EPT circuit. He was a videographer. Yeah. He became the German EPT commentator alongside Martin Pott. And then he exploded on Twitch. Whether he's fishing, sleeping, playing slots or other casino games or streaming poker, he has his own inimitable style. He has a huge following, more than 1.2 million followers. The guy is a superstar. The König of Twitch! What does that mean? The king of Twitch. Oh, yeah. No, he is. Boy, did we tuned in today for the start of his stream. And let me tell you, it was something special. Like, genuinely, I loved it. I had to be dragged away from that to do our stream. Yes. Um, a very entertaining broadcaster. Obviously, we understand very little of what he's saying because he's streaming in German. But the production like values. Wow. <laughs> so good. Way better in German. So we've got the chip I mean, it's leader at like this the, table. It's kind of like the Lex situation, right? Where we knew Lex way back when. Now he's a superstar. We knew Jens when he was a tournament reporter, a blogger. And here he is again. Superstar. <laughs> so we've gone three way to this flop. And right now it's looking pretty good for Mike Watson. Flopped top pair picks up the spade draw on the turn. Diamond draw for Freelancer, who now makes a delayed continuation bet on the turn of 106,000. Chip leader Dominic Nietzsche has folded, but I reckon Sir Watts will stick around. Pair in a flush draw. 
never a terrible situation to be in. I can't say never. Very rarely a terrible situation to be in. And both players whiff, which is why it's nice to have that pair to go with your flush draw. Well, let's see if this gets checked to showdown or whether we get a pure bluff on the river. You know what wouldn't get blocked as far as avatars are concerned, James? Baby Yoda yeah. is here to stay. That is very, very true. Does get checked, and a pair of tens are good as the blinds go up to 12,500, 25,000. And did we uh, lose a player before we could even get down here? We did. We are at two tables of six right now. Good spot, Joe. We did start the day with 13. It was us underscore Alex who busted one of the first hands of the day, cashing out in 13th place for $6,500. Didn't collect a single bounty. Boo. Kanazi in the big blind. Oh, boy. Picks up the spade draw. Ace high, still the best hand for Dominic Nietzsche. Almost a coin flip, though, and the slight statistical advantage is with Gnossi right now. So far, there's been one hand, and we're 0 for 2 on people making flush draws. Okay, well, it's now a pair of nines. For Buna Taru. I tell you what, Joe, there is such a German theme to the evening, especially to this table, with Dominic Nietzsche as chip leader, Seven's guy at the table, and of course, the legend that is Knossi. So we need to bring a strong German presence to this stream. Let's welcome Felix Schneiders, X Flex, to the Poker yeah, Stars Dawson's Arena. Boot. And yeah, to the yeah, stadium, yeah, yeah. Jared. Felix, how is the Grund going? What's up? Uh, it's Going pretty well, actually, so far in Stadium Series. Uh, yeah, it's going going pretty good. I had, I had like, a, one final table right at the beginning. But since then, I've been bricking all the tournaments, so I'm feeling oh. all good. <laughs> um, we see the rivered flush there for Jens. Takes it down. What can you tell us about this guy? Oh, my God, he's got pocket sevens. How oh. German. I mean... We were saying earlier on, Felix, we remember Jens when he was doing video reports from the EPT. We know he does a lot of commentary uh, from live events, live streams. How did he become this huge celebrity with literally hundreds of thousands of concurrent viewers on Twitch? Yeah, it's it's a phenomenon. I, I think he's just the best. I mean, he's just the most authentic, most honest, most genuine and like super fun person to be around with i mean he's like he's the kind of guy that when you watch him on stream you he is you must about know, he to is get like in big trouble oh like that. that's over oh my <laughs> on this occasion it is not coming seven and we see yens down to a hundred k uh that's four big blinds right just under four Seven's guy, giving hopefully a little bit of a pep talk to Kanasi and not a rub down. What'd that say, Felix? You catch any of that? A pep talk, you mean? I saw a Watt, Watt and loss what? chirp what? in the chat yeah. after that hand went down, but unfortunately my German's a bit rusty, and by rusty I mean non-existent. Well, let me see. I can't scroll up in the chat now. But, well, he's the original is always coming seven guy. This is but indeed... Was. <laughs> this is Christian Rudolph, who um, famously, and we've said this a few times in the last few days, famously tried to explain the whole sevens thing. And, I mean, I appreciate English is not his native language, but just did a terrible job of trying to explain it. But, hey, gave birth <laughs> to one of my favorite video clips of all time. All of we us. probably didn't catch him at the best moment either. If you remember, he was like a little sweaty in that clip. I think maybe been yeah. celebrating and or celebrating <laughs> at the time. I play that clip on my stream all the time. We still get all the laughs. It's just the best. Absolutely. It never gets I old. Mean, it's, what's, what's particularly crazy though, Felix, is this week we've had 
uh, Votenlos make a couple of deep runs in Stadium Series heats. And of course, Dernig, the man himself, Andre Latau, made the final table of the High Bind Freeze Out final. Sick. It's so sick. They just keep on crushing. That's what they do. Yeah, no, we were very much enjoying the first few minutes of Jens's stream today. Uh, the whole Koenig in the throne with the horse and the sword, a live performance of Europe's The Final Countdown performed in front of the Volcano show at the Mirage. I mean, it was, it was beguiling. It was totally beguiling. Well, you must imagine a, spending a day with Knossi is like watching a stream. <laughs> It's like the same, he's the same. <laughs> he's entirely the same. It doesn't change. But yeah, I mean, that's what everybody loves him for. He's just, he's just crazy. He's just, I like, in a, in, a, in a very, very good way. Um, and he just gets all those crazy ideas. And he just, he just never, like, he always has a genuine mouth. Like, he says what he thinks. And it's never, like, it kind of, at times it feels like, oh, it could be inappropriate. But then again, like, the way he says it, you never think it is inappropriate. Just, it's just the way he is. I don't know anyone like that. <laughs> so this board has not given either player a straight. And so Watts is still ahead with King High. No straights and no pairs as far as your own hold cards are concerned. Oh, wow. Huge bluff. Nice one. Dominic, so mean. What a meanie. I know it's become a cliche, Felix, to talk about the dominance of German players at No Limit Hold'em. But sort of. Dominic Nietzsche has been playing at the top of his game for what seems now like more than a decade. Yeah, they all do. I mean, I don't even like... How, how long is the, the EPT um, ago that, that uh, Wattenlose did the sevens clip? That was 2014, so that was six years ago. Yeah. And there he is again. I mean, they just stick around. And they never get tired of the game, it seems. Who gets tired of money? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much. I'm so sick of all this money. Ah! <laughs> Too okay. much of it. I mean... <laughs> Obviously, Jens has a sizable bounty, right? Nearly three and a half thousand dollars. And that makes it tough for you to get it in with just any two cards. Yeah. I mean, that said, it's such a small stack. He's probably going to get called anyway by a lot of hands. But well, it's we, tough, right? The blinds are about to go through him. So what, what should he well, be getting it in with here? He had Queen 10 that very first hand after he got stacked. And I was surprised to not see it go in. And I think the flop came 10 high. Now, I know that I would have immediately moved in the next hand with Queen-10, which means it's probably correct to fold it, but it is a little frustrating to fold and then see it come 10 high, and I think no action after that. I think the hand ended on the flop. Generally speaking, you definitely have to be shoving a lot tighter as the short stack in bounty tournaments because of that yeah. bounty dynamic, and also because of a little bit of ICM coming into play here. But I think like at this point, when he gets down to three big blinds, um, yeah, he probably needs to get it in with the queen deuce of hearts with the three big blinds. I think I would have just gone with it because the big blind is um, coming around now. And he... Suffice yep. to yep. say, yep. guys, yep. right? <laughs> Knossi is streaming this himself. We just talked about the amazing opening to his live stream today. And of course, Finton, easy with aces, is streaming his table as well. The other table remaining in this 5K progressive knockout event we do ask that you adhere to the no spoilers rule on this stream because we are cards up for every single hand. We are showing the action on a 20 minute delay. So if you know anything from the future, please keep it to yourself. In fact, as, as Joe said yesterday, don't even say I know something. We don't care. Just stum. Stum. That's right. I would love to ban people today. Ban those spoilers. So, Fontenlos opening with the King Nine of Clubs. 
I'm amped up from Nasi and I got nowhere to put the energy. I will ban TF out of you. It's funny, everybody says Nasi. Actually, Finton just asked me before the stream. He asked me to give him a voice message about how, should, how to pronounce uh, Knossi's name. And like, Knossi, it seems yeah. like nobody can really pronounce Knossi with a K. Knossi. Knossi. Hard. Knossi. <laughs> That's German, yeah. I mean, not being funny, but Finton struggles to pronounce a lot of words in the English language, so... <laughs> True I story. can make that. I, I've, I've got an Irish passport. I am officially 50% Irish. I'm allowed to make those jokes. Then he keeps making fun of me when I rate him. He's going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the schnitzel and the beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all he says to me ever. <laughs> ever. Oh, cliched humor. Yep. Well, this... It's checked to the river, and pair of eights are good. More chips for the chip leader. Dominic Nietzsche closing in on the two million mark. Okay, ace jack suited. I figure we're going to see Kanossi get it in here. Do it. Looking good. Knowing all the cards, poker is easy. <laughs> Kanossi is going to nowhere. Oh, there we see some German chat. Feuer deinen. I don't see the rest. Damn. I think it's about fire somebody. He, 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 should, he should fire somebody. Uh, okay. Well, unfortunately, we have got a pair of threes here for sevens guy. But Dominic might do Jens a favor here. Nope. Nope. Now they both have small pairs. He can't beat either of them now. No. Hey, look, his ace and his Worst jack is still live. Come on, there's, there's still a river card, which is another three. It's trips for Vatnlos. Christian Rudolph, sevens guy, is going to eliminate Jens Masella and take his bounty. Kanasi left with Kanathing. <laughs> Not knowing the cards, he might actually hope that his ace check is still good, but after the bet, no longer. Showdown, and that will see Jens eliminated in 12th place, cashing out for a total of $11,753. That's payouts and head prizes. And we are down see, to the final 11. Out. And we are going GG. over to Finton's table. So now we get to rail Finton Hand going deep in another Stadium Series heat. So did you say, Felix, you spoke to Finton earlier on today? Yeah, yeah. He was asking me how to pronounce Knossi's name. Yep. I gave him a voice heads up on this one. Um, and I think he seems to be. Otherwise, like, except for not knowing how to pronounce Knossi, I think he seems to be doing very well in Stadium Series so far, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. But here, I am best, is best, with the best hand. Good fault. So right now, with 11 players remaining, Finton is seventh in chips. Uh, Nicholas Ashtet, Lena 900, is the chip leader at this table. Overall chip leader is still Dominic Nietzsche, who's over at the other table. And... I mean, this is interesting. Have we had a single table where C Darwin two has not been? Oh, all no. from Coco Jambo. No, I don't think we have. Aces and, and sixes, but running hearts, and that is there the flush for Finton, and that is going to be Ognyan Dimov, Coco Jambo, out oh. in eleventh place, and that's going to take us down to the final ten. That's going to take us down to hand for hand play. We are now on the final table bubble. Was it a thing apart from, uh, outside of Germany? Oh, yeah, yeah, Coco Jumbo from Mr. President? Or was it just for the Germans, like that song? Because the um, name reminds me of it. Um, it's not a song I'm familiar with. That doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> that it didn't make it beyond Germany, Felix. 
Okay. Well, the Germans in the chat will know. They will just all sing it right now. I think I'm pretty sure. That was my my childhood. Well, this is oh, wow. trip aces for Simon Matson. See Darwin too, but Lena 900. Nicholas Ashtet does have the flush draw. So many flush draws today. I wonder how small these bets are ever going to get. Like they started out as like one third, then they got one fourth, and now they get even less than a quarter of the pot. <laughs> like It'll soon come we're back, back to betting. It'll come back around to people betting three quarters pot and four betting <laughs> super light. That's what I'm wondering. Yes, when will that time come again? This I is. like it like this. Nobody ever raises yeah. the river unless they have it. Oh, <laughs> Lena and 900 gets there. And is this a situation where Nicholas Aztec gets paid off here, value betting 396,000? Oh, I mean, you might not like the club on the river, but you've got trip aces. Yeah, yep, calls. And that will see wow. Nicholas Aztec become the chip leader as we give Joe Stapleton a short break from the booth because we are going to bring Griffin Benja back into the Poker Stars arena. Griffin, good to have you with us again. Well, 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 another day, another Darwin, huh? Yes, absolutely. The Swedish player continues to crush, continues to dominate, took a little bit of a hit there to another Swedish player, Lena 900. Hey, Griffin, what's up? Hey, how you doing, Felix? All good, all good. Excited for this. Even though we have lost Gnossi, we still have Dominic with a big stack. We still have Christian Rudolph, as far as uh, the Germans are concerned, or should I say the Austrians, because that seems to be where most of them have gone to these days. Uh, yeah. Still going strong. Uh, we talked about seeing Dino a lot uh, just the other day. I don't, I'm not sure if we've uh, mentioned that's Alex DeFelici from Canada, yes. who's definitely one of the strongest Canadian players. So nice to see him representing um, us Canucks. Yeah, I mentioned Alex at the top of the show, Griffin. Third place finish in this year's Spring Championship of Online Poker main event. Did a three-way deal, I believe, with Alex Gears and Pablo Brito before exiting in third place. Okay, so Darwin gets a bit back. Blinds right now, 12,500, 25,000. So no one at this table in the danger zone. Do we have an exact chip count of what the danger zone is? Just if you want to explain to the fans at home. Well, do you know what, Griffin? It changes depending on my mood. Um, strictly speaking, it's kind of, it's what I would consider to be that open shoving range, right? It's that kind of anything between kind of 12 and zero big blinds. Once you're at 15, you're kind of, you're kind of edging into the danger zone. Yeah. And then once it's below 15, it's kind of like, you know, uh, so plays concluded at this table. Hopefully we can go across and see what's happening at the other table. Bounty tournaments, the danger zone actually extends to quite some more big blinds because you can open shelf a little, yes, a little more with more big blinds. Or you, I definitely tend to see more of those because of the bounties. interesting hand here coming in right away. Uh, oh, I have to assume this was limped and checked back. Uh, facing the min bet on the flop, freelancer is going to pop it up, and that's going to be some trouble for him as Sir Watts with the straight. Talking of Canada's finest, 
Mike Watson, a player we've not just seen a lot of during the stadium series, but also during Scoop. And of course, whenever we cover a live event, super high roller events, the main events. Yeah, and really made his presence felt in the stadium series. We've certainly seen him um, kicking around in a lot of these big day two spots, but uh, nice to see him getting a little more chips. I think he was pretty short the last time we saw him, um, probably sometime last week. Now, we know that Finton's got a little bit of envy right now, Felix. He's seen the scores that Lex and Spraggy have achieved this week. Lex winning the stadium series heat. Actually, that was last week, and Spraggy finishing third this week, the 70K. So very much wanting to kind of one-up his teammates, one up his colleagues and, and cash out for more than that tonight. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's been at it. He's been on the grind. He's just a beast. Like every time I go on Twitch, like he's there, like he goes offline for a couple hours and then he's back again. Like he grinds all the hours he puts in all, all of the work, all the effort. And he's just like super excited in every spot. It seems, I, I think it's just a matter of time. I mean, it's only, couple more events but i'm pretty sure he's he's super super he's, he's super motivated so we get the open here from simon matson with king queen offsuit going to be interesting to see how i am best to uh reacts to this in the big blind um had lena folded it would have been uh kind of an interesting spot to maybe even show for the 20 sort of two big blinds effective Darwin's going to be raising some hands that he's not going to be calling a shove, but facing the flat from Lena on the button, not surprised to see him just peel here. And actually, surprisingly, flop best uh, with just the two twos. Interesting three-way pop. One of the worst two pairs you can have, have, James. Deuces and fives. Hard to realize on this board that it's actually the best hand and that you have close to 70% equity. Yeah, and really not a situation he's going to feel super comfortable when, when faced with a bet, but um, it's also going to be difficult for maybe either of these players to find one. Darwin not taking the spot here but to a size like that you might think best is going to be willing to peel one off he still does have that wheel draw oh he actually does i was just thinking about like a good spot to actually even check raise or lead the turn because he has all the fives in his big blind defending yeah. range but that's a beautiful river obviously he is best again yeah, and we can see now actually that Lena wants to sort of use that jack of hearts in his hand to maybe say, you know what, hey, I have a I have a flush here, and that's why I'm betting the turn when I turn the heart draw and maybe trying to get I am best even off an ace here. Mm -hmm. But we can all see that's not gonna work. <laughs> we have a big hand here from Darwin. This is gonna be massive. Well, I am best has both players in the blinds covered. Not really a decision for Alex De Felice. I know a lot, but it's the core all in from C. Darwin and it's a race. It's a coin flip and fours are holding and that will see C. Darwin two eliminated in 10th place. And that means we have reached the final table of this eight max PKO. Simon Matson cashes out for $13,315. The other nine players advance to the final table. Yeah, you know, the nothing they can do there. Well, let's take a look at what they are playing for. And remember that this is only a percentage of the prize pool. There are also the bounties in play as well. As far as payouts are concerned, though, Everyone's now locked up, $8,360.
jumps with every elimination. Yes, second and first get paid the same, 53k, but the winner will take the bounty of the runner-up and will keep their own head prize. Yeah, that prize pool amount is certainly a bit deceptive there. Only 5,300 uh, for a 5k, 53,000, pardon me, for this big uh, buy-in, but really... Um, it's about all that money that's in the bounty. And look at this to just wow. jump things off right now. The ace, the kings, the ace jack might play. Sevens, this is just uh, going to be a yeah. bloodbath. By the way, as we came to the table, I don't know whether you just missed that, but it was a double up for Dino a lot. Now up to 1.37 million. And yes, absolute carnage is about to occur. Kings versus aces. So what's all in, but with the best hand? Hearts are a factor. Hearts are a big factor, but Ooh. aces hold, and that is a double up for Sir Watts, leaving Lena 900 with less than 750k. And now we got queens, an ace jack, and threes. Ah! King 10 suited's a nice hand, too. I'm still uh, amazed by the fact how quickly they with ace jack and sevens, sorry. <laughs> this is going to be pretty result. interesting because you have to imagine, as we see now, Watt and LOS even willing to call those three and a half bigs there with a 10-9 suited. Dino a lot, you have to imagine, going to be willing to get in there as well. Uh, so it's going to create a really interesting spot for Sir Watts. You see Watt is flatting on about 40 big blinds. It could potentially be a trap, so it's going to have to go through Mike Watson's head. But at the same time, a lot of dead money out there. Uh, a nice little bounty to take if he can win the hand against Chico. Uh, so this is going to be really interesting. And we see now Finton even calls. Wow. This might just be too good a spot uh, for Sir That's Watts. Good. Yeah, I was just about to say he should be probably jamming this. Mm -hmm. Just pick up all the dead monies and the bounties. Yeah. Yeah. And there is the reshove. And let's see if we get three folds. There's the first. Christian Rudolph is out. Dino lot passes. Finton passes. Ace Jack versus Queens. Always coming. Seven and Queens hold. And Chico <laughs> 70 gets a quintuple up there. Again with the sevens, and no bounty claimed. We are still at nine players. Felix, what do you think the worst hand you would have there in Sir Watts' hand that you would uh, shove? Like, do you think you're shoving a lot of wheel aces there, expecting to get tons of folds from, I mean, definitely from Fenton and Dino a lot, and then a bunch of folds from yeah. Watt as well? I was just thinking about that spot. It was such a beautiful spot for Sir Watts. It was like like a, a paint book spot. And it's just like, I think he should be going very wide there because you can put a lot of mm -hmm. both bounty lines and pressure on the entire field. Like nobody can actually call in that spot, really. Because all oh, the other guys get... were so short. But Lena can call Sorry. here. And a river Another. gives it to Chicho. Another wow. double up for Chico. Uh, Lena now short, 187k. Wow, Could, guys, just just slow down. Just fold a few hands. This gives us a chance to breathe. Too many hands here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the RNG giving us a show uh, at this uh, beginning of this final table, and that's the beauty of poker. Sometimes it's just fast and, the f fast and furious, and nice to see at a big buy-in yeah. like this, start of the final table, it's just whippersnapper. And a really loose flat here from Chicho uh, out of the small blind. Definitely think this is going to be indicative of maybe a player on the – Less pro-y side, not a flat you would reckon to see, Definitely. especially at a final table 5K. So we got second pair top kicker for Dino a lot. The gut shot straight draw for Dominic Nietzsche. Who is the chip leader right now? It's I am best, right? With 1.77 million. Dominic now second in chips. Mike Watson third. It's pronounced Iam best. James, I thought we established that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ian. <sighs> Have a good evening and good luck at the final table. Tino a lot does continuation bet this flop, which I think plays nice. But yeah, not surprised to see him check the turn. Um, not going to get a lot of value from Moore's hands. Going to be able to bluff catch some rivers. Um, when the hearts and the straight draw misses, but we can see one of the straight draws did fill in, but not one that Funatara is going to have a ton of, just the queen nine. He's not really going to have ace queen much. So this is going to be tough for Dino a lot. A lot of heart combinations Funatara could have here. But he would maybe bet this with just a king. So 
I know a lot is in a world of trouble, but finds a good fold. Yep. Okay. Maybe we found our pace now. After That's a better. lot of big action during the first few hands and a lot of double ups and a quintuple up for Chicho. Nine handed. And yes, we should salute Finson for making another Stadium Series final table. Such a beast. Blind battle. Four Xing from Dominic. Putting a lot of pressure on Christian. And some respect there, I think. Uh, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a top professional willing to fold a suited queen blind on blind for even as big as a 4X playing 40 bigs effective. But, you know, you're going to be playing against one of the best players in the world um, in Dominic Nietzsche and certainly some ICM implications. You see that Lena only has 180,000 Finton with under 20 big blinds and Chicho seeming to... It's amazing that he flat stays deuce in the small blind and folds a jack nine suit in the cutoff. That's uh, that's really remarkable. That was heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see, hard to watch. Let's see what happens here. Is it going to be a defend? No, even freelancer folds to the min race. The jack seven off. Just shows the power of the big stack in a bounty tournament. He can put both the ICM and the bounty pressure on everybody, and it's just such an insane pressure when you're like the mid stack. I think it's so hard to play. Um, I was just Look thinking about the. This Look is going to be a huge like... bounty opportunity for Fenton. Uh, Lena's not going to be able to fold here uh, with just his five and a half bigs, and we can see Fenton well in the lead a... with Kings. I'd love to see a flat from Fenton here, actually, to be honest, but I'm not sure. I, 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 I like the, the flat in, in theory, um, but I think it's going to be a bit obvious on this table. And also, right, okay, people right. are going to be calling a bit lighter. So I don't think that you're going to get a fold from Ian Best if he just says, say, has like ace queen um, and stuff like that. You know, pocket nine's probably still going to yeah. call. So I think because it's a bounty, question. he wants to show it. In. And he has a big bounty too, right? Yeah. And here's my question, Griffin. I understand, obviously, Lena has to call here. Super short, has to call it off. I'm interested to see what I am best does when the action comes back around, because you're seeing two bounties in play here, two sizable bounties in play, and yeah. not that much more to call. Yeah, less than 20 big blinds. I mean, and you can see he does it. It's a great uh, observation, James. Um, and so far, not so good, but can hit a nine. And nope. that's huge Kings for his hand. Finson gets a triple up and takes the bounty of Lena 900. Nicholas Astet out in ninth place. First player to exit the final table for nearly $19,000 in prize money. And look, Finson has now got the little red target. Finson is the biggest bounty remaining, worth $9,800. And where is Finson right now? Third in chips behind Mike Watson and Dominic Nietzsche. Uh, but some opportunity here for Ian to get some chips back, uh, <laughs> facing the cutoff open from what? Okay, not quite a triple up for Finson because Lena was super short, but better than a double up. So now we are eight handed and the hands keep coming. Mike Watson has been quiet so far on the final table. Um, so I can I can see why maybe he wants to open up this one. I don't think it's going to work. Um, you can see some pause from Nietzsche. And of course, Watt with the pocket nines will be putting chips in this pot. Just calls though oh. and flops it. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good flop for pocket nines. Pretty good. Well. It's the stars nuts. That's what they say. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no action. Snap folded by Sir Watts. So Finton has actually won. 
$17,000 in head prizes and is guaranteed with eight players remaining an additional nine and a half K. That's what eighth place will receive. Looks like Ian doesn't like folding buttons. <laughs> Folding's boring. Pretty good check back candidate here for Mike Watson, but Alex to raise thinks that he's going to get a lot of folds from Finton, and he's absolutely right. Checks are for the bank, Griffin. <laughs> or for privileges. <laughs> <laughs> Seven's guy opens with nine, eight of diamonds. He's four of diamonds for Dino a lot. Feels like he already has three to his straight and seven's always coming. Playing the nine eight. Three raises. It's a three bet to 174,600. Back on Christian Rudolph, who folds. Looks like this is going to be the last hand of the level just before the players go on break. Blinds go up to 20,000, 40,000. So at this point, before we lose him, I want to say huge thanks to Felix Schneiders for joining us this evening. Xflex, I'm sorry that we didn't see the real Knossi go deeper in this event. We didn't get to see more of Jens in action. Yeah. But hey, to, to, to make so it to the there. final 13 of this event is still a huge achievement. It is, it is. And he was pretty happy about it. He was super excited and he made a great show for the German uh, Twitch poker scene. And it was just amazing to see. And um, yeah, I was hoping for him to run deeper, but... That's how it goes. This is an interesting well, hand here, but he's just going to call. Never mind. And it's top pair for Chicho. We have someone on Twitch chat saying, I am best two is Matthias Ebinger. Uh, that name certainly sounds familiar. James? Can you go in the well and remember who I that is? I cannot confirm. Matthias Eibinger, I can't confirm if that is this player. But you know who that well, is. I've heard that name. Yes. So we are going to see the high event go on break. So we are going to say goodbye to Felix Schneiders. Bye, Bye, guys. It was a pleasure. Good Abend. Danke schön. Uh, and viel Spaß. I am going to hand things over to Mr. Joe Stapleton as we go across to the medium buying version of this PKO. Joseph, do your thing. Goodbye, Felix. Goodbye, James. Goodbye. Hi. Hello, my babies. Joe Stapleton, Griffin Benger, heat number 27, medium, $530. That's the buy-in. That's what they're calling a medium buy-in. Inflation is getting unreasonable. Hey, that's the way you guys are doing it. You know, you started low and uh, just keeps on getting up there. You, you, you introduce something small and then you slowly make it bigger and bigger. That's how it works. A raise from Jack 10. Tamati defending 10 deuce. Francisco Tamati Benitez. Is that right? Almost $10 million in earnings? And actually, Joe, that wasn't a defend. I think uh, hit re it actually limped, which uh, wow. is an interesting decision there and maybe indicative of, uh, uh, you know, some deviation strategy-wise from what we would expect. But that's the fun part maybe about bouncing around from the medium to the high as we see these, you know, very few wild cards at the, in the high one actually on the final table of the 5200 in Chicho, but uh, definitely going to see some less optimal strategy here. But right here, uh, pretty standard for Tamati to be shoving. And Agus has to feel pretty good about King Jack, but it still is close to 18 big blinds. He's not thrilled about it, certainly. And actually and makes the fold. Folds and just pushes away from the computer. <laughs> Staying out. Can't deal with this anymore. Gonna raise some Kurt. King Queen off suit. 
Renee Master Mix in chat and at the table. Cool. Love when that Kurt happens. making some important phone calls in his avatar here. Yeah, could I uh, order a top hair, please? Yeah, give, you can give me a straight <laughs> draw, but uh, don't let him hit. Yeah, thanks. How about a decent kicker? <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have any aces? No? You're sold out? Can I get a queen? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take a queen. Thanks. How about another king? Uh, 31 players remaining in this event. Everyone now guaranteed around $1,500. Alex Better also still in. Alexi and that's the difference. Electing Ooh. to bet. And that's the difference between the medium and the high, Joe, is that we get better players in the medium and best players in the high. Because of Ian Best. I won't go out on a limb like that. I'll neither confirm nor deny that the best players are in the high event. Pretty cool here when uh, someone bets into you and you have trips. Pretty tough to be losing in this spot. It's not even yeah, any straights out there. Alexi is not going to be able to uh, respond pretty well to that. Action folds around to Agus on the button with four, five off. Folds it, Alexi. Suited ace. Three A is how I'm going to describe this hand from now on. Well, I am Fun. going to call Rena's hand the dog. Ooh, ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The K9. Quick fold. And the dog quickly lays down. I think we've seen Alexi oh, spinning deep. around in circles. In a few Straight of these um, medium and highs. But it also, I, there could be a lot of other sort of Alexi number type names. So I don't want, don't quote me on it, but I think Alexi's been around the block. I, and I recognize the avatar, but also. There are a lot of cat avatars. That's the trap you fall into. And uh, Tamati coming after Kurt. Look at that. And that's where the 10 million comes from. Did you say you had 10 million in caches? Uh, well, you know, I was rounding up a little bit. Just like 9.9 .9 million or something. That's all. That's it. That's Whoa. all you're going to get from the medium for right now. Because we have got the little matter of the high buy-in. Final table returning from break. Dominic Nietzsche out on top with 48 big blinds. So relatively shallow here. Not Kim Kardashian shallow, but pretty shallow. Kind of like Vern Troyer's swimming pool shallow. I am best and easy with aces. What is happening? Now, that might have been a better spot for a flat from Finton, but, you know, we just came in and saw sort of the end result of the hand, but gets the three bet and through. End result for the hand. I see what you did there. A walk for Finton hand, who has the red dot next to his bounty number, which means his bounty is the biggest. Sir Watts, raising with King-8 suited. I feel like if you could compare this to sort of like, you know, we're doing a bounty tournament, sort of get like an Old West vibe, you know? It's kind of cool that Fintan could be like the hand, you know? It's like, what do they call the guy with the biggest bounty? The hand. He's got the quickest hand in the, in the West. Yeah. Very steady hand over here. Freelancer on the button. Shoves with King Four of Spades. The bounty is worth thirty one hundred doll hairs. And I'm I, no human calculator, Joe, but uh, yeah. this is probably pretty close uh, to a call here. Um, you know, anything around two hundred, I think. Um, Matthias Ibinger would be snapping this off, but 
in this range, I mean, has certainly done the work, can know the calculations as to whether, you know, once he's able to figure out what equity he has against the range, he can decide whether it's worth chasing that $3,125 bounty and makes the fold. Very tempting to make the call there. Then all of a sudden you call, you lose with five high, which is probably what's supposed to happen. And now all of a sudden you're under a million and you're one of the stacks that's at risk. Well said. Certainly, actually, it's a really good point, Joe, which is, which is so rare for you. It's amazing. Uh, I know it's that, yeah. If he did, if he did lose that, he would be, uh, you know, around. He would be very clearly second in chips, and there would be a lot of ICM implications uh, for him. But second where he is bottom. right now, yeah, where he is right now, he's very close with Dino a lot and Watt. So much comfortable, more comfortable position, and really like this tricky three bet here from Finton. But the problem is, Ooh. yeah, Chico is someone who. Will open full jack nine suited at the cutoff, but he will call the small blind with ace deuce off, facing early position raise. So probably not someone who likes to fold aces. That's the read, and not a good flop for Finton here to try to win this pot. Um, both players now with a pair of kings. Chicho's. Seven still playing. So I really would have been would have been hard pressed for me to expect Finton to try to put any more chips into this pot. So he, it's nice that this turn is a king for him because if he gets a check from Chicho, which is certainly within the realm of possibility, uh, there's going to be a lot of river cards he chops with, and that's actually going to be one of them. So uh, Finton being able to walk out of this thing with half a million chips if it gets checked through is definitely going to be a good result and a great result for everyone watching on Twitch, because uh, you know what this could be, Joe? No, a 50-50. <laughs> Both players are going to get half of the chips. You're close. You're getting there. There's one check. There's two checks. This hand is going to end in a chop. And you know what they say? Everyone, everyone loves, loves a chop pot. Well, that's it, guys. We nailed it. GG. We're out of here. Thank you very much. We're going to bring James back in now. Because that is never going to get any better. Pocket Jacks still leading after this 8, 9, 10 flop. And you can see, even though Sir Watts has flopped really well uh, against... A wide range of hands here. Just 14.6% of the time is he going to win. He's going to need a nine or a jack. Two of them are gone. You know, uh, Nietzsche had the backdoor spade on the flop too, which added to that great percentage. So it's going to be interesting what happens here on the turn facing a bet, especially depending on the sizing of Dominic Nietzsche here. And you would have to imagine would feel comfortable folding to that amount, but also probably hates the idea about being bluffed. Benson, FCSP, had asked, what's Dominic Nietzsche's nickname? Some people call him friend. I call him buddy. Thank you for your question. And Mike Watson does call again, not believing the Bunataro Check and getting on a max river. value. Bunataro takes down that pot. He's up to 2.5 million now. Sir Watts down below a million. Now second from the bottom. We have three players under a million. Remember, we're relatively shallow. Dominic Nietzsche's chip lead at this point is probably only like 45 big blinds. And it's top pair for Chicho. Dominic turns a diamond draw to go with his pair of sevens. Yeah, and I think you would have to imagine we would see Dominic Nietzsche comfortably check back this turn. It'd be a disaster to bet and face an all-in here when you now have the pair and the flush draw. Um, still beating some hands, um, 
you know, worse sevens. But I don't know. Yeah, and there's the check. And a quick Pretty check safe from Shin Chu. Yeah, and just not wanting to go for any value. I feel like Natara probably would have found a fold, but Chicho definitely the wild card at this final table. Action folds around to Sir Watts. Clean 10, min raise. Will we see a defend from Dominic? Yes, we will. Flops bottom pair. That's the best hand. And you can see how comfortably these best players in the world will call in the big blind, getting that amazing price. And especially the implication of flopping huge, being able to bust Sir Watts and getting that beautiful little bounty. And a beautiful little turn card. Dominic's deuce is still good. Now it's a straight draw. Doesn't need to see a river. Like Watson down to 650,000. Open shove from Freelancer. Zed Zed. I have a question for you, Joe. Yeah, buddy. Do you think that uh, Watan LOS is, is the father of Mike Watson? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have Sir Watts and we have Watton Loss. What Mike Watts son and what? You know, if you want, we could, um, you know, just be a little quieter and turn down for Watt. Do, 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 do. <laughs> or we could turn down for Watts even. Yeah. What? What? Action folds around to Watt. Christian Rudolph, sevens guy. Oh, and a walk to the table short stack. What a dream. In a bounty tournament, no less. I mean, in, in some of these names for, like, sort of Wild West bounty hunter kind of names are kind of like Western-y, you know? Like Freelancer. My name is Domino Hami. I am a bounty hunter. <laughs> Finton Hand. Sir Watts, yeah. Chicho, they could really be yeah. the magnificent one, two, three, four, five, six. Magnificent eight. Yeah. I look forward to the montage in which all these characters are introduced. First, there's Sir Watts, Canadian aggression expert, known as the Mad Dog, Chicho 70, the Welcome. gunslinger from south of the border, <laughs> freelancer, always ready for hire, will do anything to make a buck. <laughs> Pocket aces for free Lancer. All in. And poor Watton Loss is too short of a stack. Can't even try to get lucky and pick up a bounty. I feel like the the, the, the name Bunataro could be the word bounty in a different language too, which is great, you know? Sure. You can't spell <laughs> Bunatiro without Bounty are with you an I. A bounty actually works perfectly. I have an extra O somewhere, but that's not bad. Yeah. Are you a bounty O? Very good. <laughs> Chicho with pocket queens. And you see how loose uh, Mike Watson is willing to defend against the one, uh, at least that we perceive to be recreational player at the table, but now facing that big bet, not going to continue. Two queen 10 suited, so this should be fun. 
Now you find out who the real poker player is. Pimsko says, that joke gets a strong 5 out of 10, Stapes. Your comment gets a strong 0 out of 10. You're banned. <laughs> Thank you for your comment. Wow. And just the show. Uh, see? Benton. That's who the real poker player is. And that's why they call him the hand. Why do they call you the hand, sir? Because I'm the hand that feeds you. I'm all <laughs> in. <laughs> Ace 10 for Sir Watts. He's all in. The pocket jacks of Chicho 70 will not be folded. You see one ace is folded. Sir Watts at risk. Gonna need a some nope. spades or an ace. A nope. And a nope. That's it for Mad Dog Mike Watson. Sir Watts eliminated in eighth place. $13,223. No time to mourn Sir Watts, though, as freelancer. Picks up pocket kings under the gun. Sometimes a mad dog needs to be put down. <laughs> <laughs> down to seven. And Watt decided to peel from the big blind. Catches a pair. Not going to be a good enough holding to be pocket kings. Oh, my well, goodness. Oh, God. Oh. Man, ain't right, Joseph. This is what happens in these maybe, badlands. Maybe Freelancer is referring to boils because this is disgusting. <laughs> this is just horrible. I mean, I guess maybe the ace helps. People are going to defend so. with it like horrible aces, right? Yeah, you're not uh, you're not liking what what you're seeing here, uh, Joe, with two kings. Someone in the chat remarks that apparently uh, Lex pronounced pronounces Dominic Nietzsche's game name. Pardon me, Bountaru, which uh, I think is hilarious. Ego Brooks says the donk lead looks bluffy, though. It lo I would think that it looks bluffy if um, if the board weren't paired. And Freelancer just folds the kings correctly. And such a good spot in general for Dominic Nietzsche, Unitaro here. Um, not only does he have the chip lead, but he has direct position on the second in chips, who, um, you know, is by all accounts not exactly the strongest gunslinger on this table. So um, he's really, really happy also to see Mike Watson go, who would have probably been in contention for. Um, the best player at the table with him. But, you know, these other, you know, less reputable, maybe live success stories um, are super, super talented, such as um, Watt and Dino a lot. And, I mean, Finton's been holding his own the last couple of weeks, man. I, I was not expecting to see him sure. in these 5Ks, but radicalized by that nice big score, uh, I believe it was last week, and then deciding let's just let's just go for it, you know, and going with the momentum. Hey, I've been there too. It's great to watch. It's it's, uh, it's really fun being a part of uh, someone's heater, whether you're friends with them and and following it, or if you you know happen to be commentating this coverage like this. So it's it's really cool and a lot of fun as we now see the hand that feeds with two queens radicalized by. Two beautiful ladies, raise and take it. And another fun hand, King 10 of Diamonds now for Finton Hand.
Uh, we have a gentleman by the name of BV Bionic 09 saying, What an LOS is the German short form for was ist don los, just meaning what's up. Oh, so that's, that's cool. cute. Yeah. So maybe we'll just start referring him to as what <laughs> I was considering making my online poker handle Updog. Uh, why? What's what's up, dog? Oh, not much. What's up God. with you? You got me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Tough spot here for Dino. A lot. Twenty-two big blinds and Finton with tens in the big blind. This is gonna be super interesting. Uh, if Dino not elected to shove, but he does just flat. So Finton now is gonna be in a very great position uh simply because i think he's probably going to be comfortable shoving here against the 22 ish effective um or sorry actually it's more like 27 effective with one los and dino a lot there is a chance he will just overcall um but i think he will pre feel pretty comfortable shoving and then i think we can expect the uh, Mr. German what's up to call it off with his king, and then he will be flipping for a massive, massive pot. Would, would propel him to the chip lead. We see a king is being folded, so this is going to be huge. Uh, big spot for Finton. You know, everyone on, the, on his stream is freaking out, but it's the ace in the window, Joseph. Oh, no. Finton loses a near flip and has his stack cut in half, more or less. And what an LOS saying, what's up now, easy with aces? And yeah. he is the chip leader. Fenton now the shortest stack in the tournament. And flailing at this pot, luckily running into a worse hand than 10 for suited. Gets a little bit back, climbs out of the bottom spot. That title once again belongs to Freelancer. And a walk. the Bounty Hunter will now become the Bounty Hunted. And this is going to be a particularly interesting spot uh, for Finton. If I am best decides, I still love King 8 of Diamonds. We saw him earlier call two bounties off. And uh, a 20 big blind shove with just King 8 suited might think it's an okay spot to try to acquire some chips. And if he does raise, Finton is not going to be thrilled about having pocket sixes here. Remember, we talked earlier about how it, you want to be shoving tighter because people are going to be calling your all-ins. Now, we can see Finton, if he gets this shove in, it almost certainly will get through, but maybe, yep, and he does it. There's the boy. shove, and it does get through. Bulldog asks, why are the payouts for first and second virtually the same? Only 12 cents difference. Can you explain? I'm not that smart. Thanks for the great coverage doll. First of all, don't say you're not that smart. We already know. Yeah. Secondly, we need to establish. We, we we're, we've definitely really established know. that over the years that you're not mm -hmm. very smart. However, not the guy. in a bounty tournament, the difference in first and second comes from the bounties themselves. So when you bust out the second place finisher, you get their bounty and you get to keep your bounty. And it ends up being an insanely big difference, despite the fact that it's only 12 cents on the payout chart. So don't you worry. Just hang out to the end. You'll see what we're talking about. And there goes Christian Rudolph jamming on the three short stacks to his left. Yeah, now that we're at the human calculator level, uh, he recognizes that all three of those players had less than 15 big blinds, so very comfortable to just shove in the queen jack off. Even in a non-bounty, you feel pretty comfortable doing it there, so in an actual bounty where if someone does call, when you look at I am best's bounty at, and this is going to be interesting. Um, this feels like a call. He goes it is, in fact, a call. Spot. Dino a lot at risk. Big. Queen high flop. And lights out. For I am best on the turn. Now I am best is I am worst. 
shortest stack in the tournament and everyone may be entering this pot to try yeah. to get a piece of the I am best bounty. We've got a razor and a collar and a folder and a folder. I am best. Jack nine is all in. Chicho coming along for the ride. King high flop. Did anybody hit this? Uh, no, literally nobody going to be in the lead here with the a seven high, but a lot of cards can ch change that. You know, any four, eight, nine, Jack, Queen, he will be behind. There's also certainly some backdoor straights. And we see Punitaru protecting I am best with just the four, eight high. Five, six. Chico is going to continue four. with uh -oh. the ace high. And this is tough. If it is always now, coming seven. Yeah, he's now acquired some equity. But the problem is he's going to expect Chicho to have a king or a six and not fold. So maybe he would have got a fold on the turn, but very hard to go for it there. Ace high turns into a pair of aces on the river. I am best two out in seventh place. Finishing just behind. I am best one. No. Uh, <laughs> taking home $24,015. That's right. It was Barry Greenstein on the river. Papa Burr ace high was already the best hand. And we both have pairs here. Chicho and Bunatiro being the two we people I'm referring to there. Yeah, and a very brutal percentage-wise situation here for our hero, Dominic Nietzsche. Gonna have to feel pretty good about his eight. Wants to protect it here. Um, but facing any resistance in the form of... Oh, and with the 8%, pops off the Ocho! And this <laughs> is gonna be disaster for Chicho! Because of the Ocho! Wow. This sucks for him. And you can see just going for max value. And, you know, Dom just knows, like, oh, 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 you're snapping me on the turn when I bet pot. So you have a king. Let's see how much I can get from you here. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it anywhere. This is the in the real insight that I've been waiting for from Griffin yeah. Bender. <laughs> and 600K. I think that's really nice sizing. Probably thinks it's the most that he can get, but finds nice a nice fold. fold. Nice fold from top pair. And Dominic Nietzsche back on top now after a brief, a brief flirtation with second place. And, and easy with aces is going to run into ace king again. Uh, hand might have a splinter in it, but he elects to just min raise. And this might allow the hand to put his glove on and walk back to the bar. <laughs> like if he went outside, you know, to with his duel, and then he's like, nah, you know, no, not working. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you get a lot of rope on? with me, but, <laughs> but that but, one is... Uh, yeah, but I'm going to the... Nice fold, Vint, in hand. Manages to get away from a domination situation. And don't forget, there is a player with a shorter stack still in this event. Freelancer. With just around 10 big blinds. And Chicho, imagine, this hand should be yeah. pretty fun. And Freelancer has both these players dominated. What will it be for the child? <laughs> How many credits? <laughs> Did you see Mandalorian got nominated for an Emmy for best drama? What? Yeah, very surprised. Didn't get any other nominations for that I could tell from the, I mean, the main nominations, but it's perfectly watchable, but also, yeah, what? Yeah, no, it's going up against, uh, you know, better call Saul and all those heavy hitters. There's the all in domination nation. Oh. It's a 10 for Bunatiro. Oh. A queen on the turn is going to oh. save 
the freelancer. You will not take away the freelancer's health care. You will not provide the freelancer with fewer than 40 hours a week in order to save on payroll tax. <laughs> Double up freelancer. Domination. Oh, yeah, another domination situation. Just folds the King 10. Just take a breather. Hey, I'm the freelancer. I make my own schedule, okay? That's why I do this for a living. Want loss with top pair. The seven is always coming. <laughs> Shamil says, come on, Finn, to get the double up. He's not even in the hand. But he is the hand. He is, in fact, the hand. Bunatiro with ace jack suited. Watton loss. Pocket aces. Freelancer king 10 suited this time also folds it. This is a uh, pretty brutal spot here for Dom. Definitely one of the stronger hands he's going to raise. And he does continue. Mm. And it is disaster on the flop. And I think Joe either bit his tongue or his coffee was too hot or he was reacting to this cooler. I wanted to do a spit take, but I didn't want to ruin my computer because mm. I need it for working and living and eating. Uh, but hello. What a cooler. Very gross situation for Dominic Nietzsche. I think that there... How much worse? Is a situation... Yeah. Oh, it's spade not... now, too. And a straight draw. Oh, man, oh, man. Dominic, I'd say with just a 25% chance of surviving this hand. I don't see a situation where this money does not go in. Unless somehow Christian plays this incredibly slow. Dominic needs you with a massive bounty on his head. That's it. Puts them all in. Dominic calls, misses the river, and the chip leader for most of the final table. Dominic Nisha out in sixth place. ICM Watt in loss. <laughs> Christian Rudolph now with the biggest bounty on his head. Nearly $10,000 just ahead of Finton Hand's bounty, and we are down to five. Wow. Did not see that coming. Yeah, really unavoidable situation there for Dom Nietzsche. I mean, it's one thing when you flop pretty decently, maybe some turn cards, you can start getting a little, uh, okay, is he's really bluffing me or probably not, but when you turn that straight flush draw um you know it sucks when you're up against the ace king the ace queen but um you usually expect that you're live to your jack um as well as of course the straight draw card and the spade which is the nut draw can't really get away from it and he's heading home in sixth but you know what that means you think if the turn you think if the turn's a non that's yeah, funny. I think there's a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah certainly. If it's the heart um, on the turn that it doesn't, he doesn't go broke. Yeah, because just like as far as sort of constructing his opponent's range, he's going to think, uh, you know, it's going to be hard for him to find a ton of just like straight up bluffs. Um, so he's probably going to believe that he's out kicked at that point. It sucks because his SPR was going to be like 0.8 or something. He's going to, I think there's going to be like 1.3 out there and. And uh, and he would have a had pot left, but yeah, it was an unfoldable turn card, and the poker gods decided they wanted to get rid of him. And we see here um, a bet on the turn from Dino a lot, and a nice call. Um, if I watch this correctly, Joe, you can see this pot now has ballooned to 500k, and calling with queen high on the turn. If I saw the action nice. right and winning. Watton loss way out in front right now. Five million in chips. 
Chicho in second with below two million. All right, fine, just over two million. Jeez. Freelancer with pocket cleans, third in chips. After Tempting being quickly getting a uh, player, in these three. Lost. Huh. Chicho riding high right now. Calls with six nine and misses and folds. Ace deuce now for freelancer. Dino a lot. Queen ten suited. Folds. Chicho. Wow, three ways to the flop. Two clubs, king high. Nobody hits anything except for bottom pair for freelancer. But is going to continue, and I really like this. A lot of the time you're conflicted on a board like that, facing a small blind flat, because it can often include some Broadway cards. Um, but because Chicho has been showing a tendency to flat a lot of different hands for that position, likes to raise. Mm. But now Chichu, mm. and I expect Dino a lot to fold this hand pretty quickly. Um, I don't think he's seen much three bet bluffing from Chicho. So I think that's really where that comes from. Mm. No need to get tricky. And another interesting hand coming up. Certainly an all-in from Dino a lot. Chicho going to actually snap fold. And that's going to be a quick call from one and loss. And we are and flipping. Dino a lot misses all five cards. And now we are missing Dino a lot. Alex D. Felice eliminated in fifth place for just shy of $24,000. We're down on the final four. Vinton Hand clinging. Clinging to a sub-10 big blind stat. Uh-oh. No, I spoke too soon, Steve. I mean, we're going to see some, some should, should see two folds here. I mean, well, actually, wow, you got to remember we're in this bounty here, Joe. We might see a quick call from what? An opportunity here to get that $9,800 bounty. Certainly going to be doing some math with the weak jack five off. And he does make the call just one over. Is there a Johnny or a club? club? No. Double up, Fint in hand. Fint in survives. Still is the shortest stack. Did Chicho just snap full Jack Nine suit again on the button? He really does not. Not like that hand. King high board. Ace high is the best hand. No, Joe. Jack nine suited is the best hand. He should have been in it. <laughs> I like Jack nine suited. I like Jack nine quite a bit. And I typically hate it after I see a flop. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exciting. Oh. Hey, pocket fives again. Here Presto. we go. And this is going to be a raised call from what's up in German. Like Puss versus Boots. One of these two hands has the slight mathematical advantage. Finton. 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 Wow. Wow. Finton fades the lot. And now Finton is no longer the shortest stack in the tournament. Two double ups. Uh, uh, in a row. Matter of fact, he's pretty much has the same amount of chips as the second place. Uh, they're actually all even, pretty much even right now. Um, and I'm telling you, Chicho is definitely going to have a tough time against these strong players playing four-handed. So it'll be interesting to see, um, I think, really good opportunity here for both Easy with Aces and Freelancer to find themselves in third place. As long as they can exercise some patience and avoid some coolers that don't go their way. Want and loss with the pair of eights and this pot's getting quite big here um and this is going to be great news for fint in hand if freelancer elects to give up here on the river griffin i, I have a to question to an eight here mm -hmm. from me so it's three times over the last two days i've seen someone reference something called a scum run what is a scum a run? 
a scum run. Um, it's when you go jogging. Oh, okay. I want to explain why I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that expression, no. Sorry, pal. Yeah, it's even got an emote, bagpusk with the scum run. E Is it like when you have a short stack and you run it back up? Maybe. Always being short stack. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Seems a little rude. Let's call someone a yeah. scum run. Fenty, Ooh, nice look at Fenty putting in the race here with the bottom pair. It's the best one. A scum run is going out drinking in pubs in rural areas of a town or city and getting extremely drunk with the locals. Oh, so it is something that you do. <laughs> Add in uh, impregnating them, and yes, then it's <laughs> something I used to do quite often. Both players with top pair here. Now, but trouble for I, freelancer. I certainly oh, don't want to jinx Fenton here. Freelancer is going to get away from this. I I'm not sure if he will, uh, Joe. Um, he's going to be check raised. He's going to be raising so wide from the uh, cutoff here. We've been seeing him raise ten eight offsuit, jack nine offsuit. So the fact that freelancer decided to call on the button here um with you know around 20 big blinds sub 20 big blinds are we at 60k or 50k either way um it wasn't his plan to necessarily fold the ace but he actually does which i think is remarkable i think that uh, because we're gonna anticipate um you know what check raising all in with all his flush draws he could be raising jack four of hearts there and then be check shoving the flop and then so it's a tough fold to make with with uh with a pair of aces but he finds a way uh to, to to get away from it and i think that that has a lot to do with the edge that he feels he's gonna have or someone like chi chi sure. doesn't want to give it away there we know it was the correct fold freelancer now facing a 3x raise jams on Juan loss identifies the weak position and weak holding of Watton Loss, who now has pocket queens. Finton gives up the 8-10, the big blind. Yeah, 10-8, really a hand you expect, maybe uh, would expect to see a defend. Um, but because he now has some nice separation from Freelancer, he doesn't want to fight for these kind of pots with uh, with Watton Loss, really has nothing to lose. So I like that uh, tight, tighter side fold from uh, Easy with Aces there. All right, guys, we're going to put the uh, scum run question to bed. One final definition from Random Scotsman. It says, Finton describes having short stack then going on a run of hitting lucky runouts. Well, I guess if he coined the phrase, it's all right to fire it back at him. Mm -hmm. I thought a, sc a scum run for me is like when you put a washcloth on your feet and use it to clean your shower. You did that when you were staying at my house. It was so weird. <laughs> What's my way to pay it back? No, it's nice for you to clean up after yourself. That weekend that I spent in Toronto hanging out with you was one of the best weekends of my life, actually. <laughs> really? Oh, that's so nice. Don't Joe. you remember how we had to go on that adventure where the girl I met on Tinder, we had to take her home in a cab, like me and you and Hardigan and... And then we went Vaguely, and did a bunch yeah. of stand-up comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, that was a great day. And I showed up with my dog. That's right. Yeah. King seven for what and a loss, also known as the Kevin. King seven, that's what I call it. Known a lot of Kevins in my life. Okay, this is a fun flop for jack nine suited this is the kind of flop you're dreaming about but not one that I, I don't know nine. like i wouldn't be surprised if we see uh chico play it quite passively which on that particular turn card might make him a lot of money because what is going to want to target his five and six x hands even his eight x hands that he thinks chico might be willing to fold so great card for him and now he should really check raise all in but he decides to just call and now we see him give up
Finton with a six. Does have a stack to protect at this point. Jack, Jack, eight. Ace high, good. Nice to get that one through for Finton. Moss with the ace five jams on the freelancer. Folds queen seven. And you can see how wide what loss is now playing. Very comfortable putting max pressure on these two regs, knowing that they don't want to get too out of line when Chicho, not the strongest player here at this table. And even Finton with the Jack three hesitating about making a pretty standard walk with Jack three. TJ with AS5. Christian Rudolph calls with 4 6. Whiffs pretty hard. Continues whiffing. That is one of the most uh, Christmassy names I've ever heard, by the way. Chicho 70? No, Christian Rudolph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. I knew I'd get you back, Joe. He's right back up there just with, when I thought I'd lost him. It's right up there with Santa Tinsel. <laughs> yeah, you know Santa Tinsel, do you? I do. We went to college together. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, Santa Tinsel. <laughs> From Detroit. I don't believe you. <laughs> Not falling for this. Raise and take it for a wanton loss. Okay, but I do know somebody named Jesus December 25th. That I can believe. <laughs> Fenton with King 10 puts out a tree bat. Have a, a go. Patented. Have a go, Fenton. No, he's just on the three stream bet. right now, getting the three bet to through. Ooh, uh, you know he's not English, lost. right? No, he's Irish. No, yeah. Okay. Wow, top pair versus second pair. Yikes! Top pair is still good. What are you scared of, Fenty? Yeah, great spot for Fenty in the air. Oh, nothing. Let's just shove it Afraid in. Afraid of nothing. <laughs> I can understand. Fenty now second in chips, it. my babies. But also want to maybe get a little more value from those nines and worst tens. Would have been nice to maybe see you make quiet. a smaller bet. Okay, I, I quiet. See it's easy when you can see the whole cards. Yeah, it is. Oh, Freelancer has to feel comfortable shoving this in. Um, we have talked about how you want to shove a bit tighter in these bounties, but because we know what loss is going to be near 100% raising from the cutoff, we've seen with 8-10 off, Jack-9 off, Queen deuce off, Got to put in those pairs and uh, hope to get some folds or win a flip or get lucky. Flop loss slips in with the jack nine. Free flop for king seven. Very oh, strong man. sizing from Watt loss here. Really wanting to. Yeah. Fold out 3x hands, maybe get 6x hands to be pretty, uh, feeling really uncomfortable. Well, 
Pocket nines. Pocket nines. There's one nine out. King Jack seems like a defend. Yeah, I think it would be a mistake to three bet here. Ooh, top oh, so well. So nice to have King Jack actually against a, a, such a wide range on the button in a situation like this because you're so often going to have, uh, if he also has a king you're, or a jack, you're going to have him out kicked when you flop a, a pair. So it's really nice. But we can see now he is flopped a bit too good. Uh, or kind I shall a... say turned a bit too good. Uh, you know, if the turn was a f low card, Fintan definitely could have got some value. But but now he has uh, elicited <laughs> the delay bet. Fintan up to two and a half million. Pocket fives for Fenton. Gets out flopped. Probably won't do too much damage here after getting called there. Only chance for Fenton to win this pot is to bet the river, but he does not. Fenton hasn't made too many purely positional raises and opts to give up the button here as well. And freelance with Jack-10, probably a couple notches, not good enough to call off. But now... Especially when you're going to get kings on the next hand. Freelancer. He just expects to get a fold here when he shoves. So certainly yeah. thinking about whether it's possible to just call or put in a cheeky three bet and does elect to go for the ladder. Looks hella strong, but oh, oh no! Right. One loss goes for the peel. Oh. This is the worst thing to happen to a freelancer since the California gig worker, Bill. Can confirm. And facing the clickback, freelancer has to be sick to his stomach, expecting Jack X a lot, as well as diamond combos. And getting He's a king. king on the river doesn't get it. And that is it for the freelancer. Been 1099 out of here, $29,370. Three players remain. Christian Rudolph, the far and away chip leader and the far and away bounty leader as well with over $13,000 on his head. Fint in hand, Chicho 70 and Christian Rudolph all now in the top three buying for a stadium series heat title. Everybody and guaranteed already, uh, Joe Watton lost with a quite a successful stadium series. We saw him uh, just earlier this week, I believe, uh, finish top three in a big uh, high event. So, yep, really things great have point, gone Griffin. Great, Fenton at the very Rudolph. least. Fenton right now at least tying his pal Spraggy, who finished third in a big event this week and I think has a good chance of catching him financially should he finish in the top two. Watton lost certainly loving life now with that nine anticipating after two checks, Finton's going to be having hands uh, like ace high. So I have to imagine, going to try to go for some value here. Can really go so, as yeah. greedy as he wants, since he wants to balance with his bluffs. So Don't Griffin. fall for it, Fenton. Mm. 
Lawton loss has a third, a fourth, and a second so far in the stadium series. Wow. And it's now guaranteed at least another third. And let's be honest, probably going to win. Is the favorite right now. But going to lose some chips here to Fenton Hand. Uh, a great hand uh, to go all in with here for the 30 bigs. Not a lot of room to three bet. I think maybe, maybe I uh, put it around 720K, but nah, just a shove. Back in second place now, but it's neck and neck between himself and Chicho. Rad Showtime asks, when does Stadium Series end? Uh, it ends just after the final tournament. Thank you for your question. Yeah, I believe uh, we've only rented the stadium until August 4th, but uh, I have to check with the producers. Yeah. So a hunchback of Notre Dame on ice comes in after this. Yeah, yeah, and with the NBA and stuff coming, coming in, we need all the stadiums. Whoa, Fenton, and that's going to get that tiny Ben, I'm telling you, he's going to get a call here. Um, I wonder if Fenton ever finds a check just expecting Watt and Laws to have. Yeah, a nice check there. Probably hoping that he lets him peel one off with something like 9-8, or you can make a straight on the river, or 10-9. And now Watt and Laws actually going to be kind of block slash bluffing this river since he's supposed to have hands like 8, 9, and 9, 10, 10, 8. So this is real nice for Finton. Great check. Easy with jacks, too, apparently. And with the raise and the snap fold, players are now on break. We're going to step away from the high and toward the medium and also back toward the loving arms of James Hardigan. Oh, you lovely man. You can have a hug anytime you want. Thank you, Joe Stapleton. It's James Hardigan and Griffin Benger taking you to the medium buy version of this heat. A progressive knockout that cost $530 to play. And Griffin, while we are three-handed in the high, 14 players remain in the medium. And tra -la, 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 la it's Alex Better back in action with the chip lead with 14 players remaining. And we're dropping on, on his table during this break. A stack of 21 million. Yeah, Alex Better, um, someone that is no stranger to the stadium series. We've seen a lot of success a lot of, out of him, a lot of deep runs. So it comes as no surprise really to see him with, with 21 million chips here uh, vying for this top prize. Alex won Heat 11 high of the Stadium Series for just over $65,000. Uh, top prize in this event is 66500 Bear in mind, that's just the money from the prize pool. Bounties, a huge factor, of course. And that's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, James, but that first prize is actually even bigger than the high, which is not something we're used to seeing. That is true. And that is by virtue of the fact that this event had an extraordinary number of runners, Griffin, exceeding the guarantee. Uh, 2,086 total entries. Wow. That's more than 1,500 unique players, more than 500 re-entries, generating a prize pool of $1,043,000. And yeah, bigger payouts than we're seeing in the high today. You know what that is, James? It's just, it's the draw of TV, man. They know they're going to, if they get deep, they're going to get on TV. We're going to talk about them. They're going to be able to watch the hands. It's, it's all us, man. We're doing yeah, it. You, We're doing you it. You keep telling yourself <laughs> that poker players are motivated by the prospect of appearing on TV and not the five <laughs> slash six figure scores that they're likely to win. I'm a romantic, James. Uh, but prudently is uh, loving the sevens. Can we get the little ticket yes. thing? Is it, is it possible? Always, he has come seven. Seven. Always come in seven. And Rene Master, of course, going to want to continue here with the two queens, especially with that backdoor flush draw. Has hit that on the turn. Uh, well, kept it alive, rather. And now facing this half pot shove, it's going to be inclined to call it off. <gasps> and gets there. Oh, that's 
that's that's a nasty way to lose. That's just a nasty way to lose. I'm sorry, prudently. Thirteenth place finisher, cashing out for a total of five thousand one hundred and eighty-two dollars. Uh, you know, obviously, but nothing against Rene as a player. Well done, congratulations. But you know, horrible way to lose. Yeah, you know, the whole thing about it's always coming seven is sevens can't beat flushes, and uh, clearly four diamonds on the board, you're gonna have trouble with three with three sevens. That's just poker. Well, this is a great board for Alexi. And even though it was Domination Nation pre-flop, Alexi nearly has half the equity here with the diamond draw. However, the five of clubs is a brick. And now Alex is a 73% favorite. Uh, yeah, and quite tough for Alex better. This is really a battle of the Alex's, by the way, which is nice to see. Um, but it's tough for Alex to really con con continue here on the f on the turn. Um, when Alex, say, calls the small blind and is willing to call that flop, oftentimes he's going to have an ace. Other times he's going to have flush draws and he's probably not folding. So really difficult to continue with the queen jack. And we can actually see now, James, that he has been rivered by that 10. Um, yes. So if... Alexi had decided not to bluff this river on a non-10. Um, Alex better could have still won the pot at showdown, but with that 10, not going to happen. Alexi wins that one. That table had everything. And Alexi and Alex and an Alan. Alan. We are going back to the final table of the high buy-in version of Heat 27. In the words of Taylor Swift, are you ready for this? Christian Rudolph has the chip lead with an 86 big blind stack. Finton on 42 bigs. The shortest stack right now is that of Chicho 70. Still potentially a lot of play in this and big bounties up for grabs. Remember, these events are not just about the payouts. Uh, Christian Rudolph's bounty not in play right now by virtue of the fact that he has the other two players covered. But 13k is a phenomenal head prize. Yeah, and uh, I would love for maybe the producers to correct me if I'm wrong, but Joe and I were just talking about before you tune back in, James, that uh, Watton lost Christian Rudolph has gotten, I believe, a second, third, and fourth in the stadium that series. So, that and, is correct. And a huge favorite here to make that a first. So that'll be a pretty impressive sort of right in a row, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe you can pop off a, pop off a fifth in, in the grand final uh, later on. So uh, really, I mean, he's got to be in contention for uh, player of the series, certainly, James. Pinton a bit cooler here with the ace high. Going to obviously be happy to continue on this flop with that diamond. But Alex to overbet the pot and get it done. Good for him. Putting max pressure on those rivered queens and pairs of threes and fours. But we can see just the ace 10 for Chicho. Definitely not something he's going to be calling with. Lines right now are 30,000, 60,000. Finton opening the button here with queen four of clubs. And this he is great in. news for him. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're racing. Nine's holding. Diamonds. Diamond. Nine's hold. And that is actually a double up for Chicho, meaning that Finton is now the shortest stack, but is not short stacked. More than 40 big blinds right now. Yeah, a lot of play now. We've been seeing a ton of all-ins on this table. We were talking a bit earlier, uh, James, about how fast and furious this particular event in the high has been compared to say the medium. So going to expect a little slowdown here now that they're more deep stacked. Yeah. And we can see that uh, it's pretty even between the two chip leaders at the moment, Rottenlos and Chicho. Finton with the yeah, best Finton, hand here, yeah, ace track. Mm, not out of it as far as, uh, you know, the chips have evened out. He would have preferred, of course, as he turns that, Big jack here. I like China this check extract. from Fenton. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get a bet though with the slim ace high showdown value. Christian Rudolph checks behind. 
So, yeah, it's actually, I talk about it being even between the two chip leaders. It's actually pretty even between the three stacks, as you just observed, Griffin. Everyone around the 50 big blind mark right now. Yeah, nice little jack high flush draw. And now a turned two pair for Finton. Ooh, cheeky little small bet. Getting that call from an ace high like that. Doesn't want to scare that hand off. Now makes his flush on the river. He does block the jack, so he's going to expect Chicho to ha not have a jack a ton. So I would like Finton to try not to get too greedy here. But he goes for the full pot. Again, so much easier for us in the booth when we know the hands to see what the sizing should be to target to target the particular hand, but um, takes it down. A lot of excitement right now as people see Fenton building a stack in this three-handed battle. Uh, we had some amazing three-handed play last night in Heat 26 high, and if this can deliver even a fraction of what we saw last night, we will be very happy indeed. Yeah, going to be hard-pressed to uh, find a comparison to, you know, the most impressive poker player of the last five years in Fader Holtz yesterday, as well as two absolute mega sharks. But, uh, you know, Finton in his own right, as he gets quite coolered here, um, he is going to make that quarter pot bet targeting those, you know, 10x weaker hearts that could very easily find a call. But we, of course, see Chico has the effective nuts, not the stone nuts. Straight flush option out there. Well, this is Domination Nation, and Finson retains the lead post flop. Bet gets a fold as we go to the 35,000, 70,000 blind level. This one always catches me out, Griffin. You don't get this blind level live. Finton with the 7-8 suited in the small, probably going to want to continue here. Question is, does he want to come in with a 3-bet? But he does elect to fold. Seems fine either way. But you do want to fight for pots here, and 7-8 suited is a nice hand to play. Finton goes with the big sizing there, and I think that at that particular hand it really worked out. Watt and Loss had a decent candidate for a continue either as a call or as a check raise. So the fact that Finton really put the pressure on by betting really big, um, I think that it's interesting to watch so much of Finton play in these 5K buy-ins. And I think some of the things that he's doing really well is not giving these super regs a lot of room to get creative against him. Um, it's a lot of sort of bigger C bets um, when he's kind of in, in a one and done zone, even even when he has hands that he thinks could be good, like an ace nine on that particular board texture. Yeah. Um, so they've both got sixes, obviously jacks and sixes for Christian Rudolph. And but effectively kings and jacks, um, yes. and that's going to be well ahead of Finton. Of course, this means there are just two more heats to play after this one. We've got Heat 28, which kicked off tonight and concludes tomorrow. And then Heat 29, which starts on Saturday and concludes on Sunday. And then it's grand final weekend. Sunday is all about the freeze-out grand finals. The low, the medium, and the high. That's $55, $530, and $5,000. That 5K event, by the way, which we're going to be covering on Monday and Tuesday of next week, playing down to the final table on Monday and playing down to a winner on Tuesday has a $5 million guarantee. We're going to have players in that who will have qualified via free rolls, players who qualified by making the final tables of low buy-in events, $5.50 tournaments, $11 tournaments. It's going to be a, a really interesting mix of players and should be a really fun event to cover in the late stages. And would you look at this, Christian Rudolph with the 
trappy pot control check on the queen six three two diamonds one spade with the ten six of spades uh, has elicited elicited a, bl a very rare bluff from Chicho, um, and I guess that goes to show why he did that. Really nice and tricky there. Oftentimes, these regs will protect their mid pairs with little continuation bets, but there decides no point in doing it. And now attacking Finton with the very big three bet, really putting in Finton in a bit of a jailed spot where he would have to kind of shove or fold. And you hate to, you wouldn't really want to do it with Jack 10 off. So uh, Christian Rudolph. Really in the zone here, James, and uh, not surprising considering all the success he's had in recent weeks. Yeah. And Deuce is still good on this board. That 70k on the river gets a fold. Fun little min bet on the river there from Christian Rudolph, kind of going for that ma maximum uh, light value. Hoping to get called by a hand like King High. Chicho did have the Queen High and left it to fold. Ooh. Nice shove by Fenton. A bit too many chips. We actually see Christian Rudolph folding the best hand there, which is so funny considering how big the bounty is for Fenton. But if Wadden Alas calls there and is wrong or loses, suddenly he doesn't have that chip lead. So better to just stay in the lead, especially with the edge he has in position on Chicho 70. B King Boo asks, who is Wattenlos? It is a German player called Christian Rudolph, who we were first introduced to in Barcelona back in 2014. He earned the nickname Sevens Guy because he was the guy on Andre Letao's rail who tried to explain what the whole seven thing was about. And then the next time we saw him was four years later at the PCA, he made the final table of PCA 2018. And as Griffin referenced a short while ago, has had a lot of success in this online series, in the stadium series, just in the last few days, a second, a third, and a fourth place finish in high buy-in stadium series heats. Whatever he's doing, he's doing it right. And Part of that is running good, and right here we can see three-handed having ace-king and your opponent having king-jack. You both flop a king. You know, this is the kind of great things you see when things are going your way, and you got to expect to see a pretty big bet on this turn card. Expecting to get value from a lot of these jack x hands that are also pairs, uh, king-jacks and queen-jacks, and... But he is going to check back that river, feeling very comfortable with what he's able to win. Well, and now a huge uh, chip lead. Yeah, and also we see Chicho drop below the 2 million mark. And this is super interesting. I was I was actually going to expect to maybe see Watt and Lost take this shove spot. Finton is going to have such a tough time calling any hand here because he has uh, you know a 50% chip edge over Chicho. So Finton might, you know, if he, Finton has ace queen suited, he's probably like, uh, like I can't fold this ace jack suited. It's really tough to call off here. You know that there's a good chance you're going to be blinding out Chicho who isn't comfortable playing three handed for this kind of money. Um, you know, a lot of the time one loss is just going to have a pair and you're already behind Chicho is going to be flatting a lot of hands that have aces and jacks in them too, which is less outs for you. It's a, something you can also even consider. So, I don't know if he can really make this call. Um, what do you think, James? I don't know. I mean, uh, wow. Finton makes the call. Goes for it. Gets it in good. Ace Jack is holding and wow. Finton gets the huge That's double amazing. up and takes the chip lead with three players amazing. remaining in this 5K progressive knockout event. Finton now with a stack of 5.2 million, but on the very next hand, Christian Rudolph has picked up aces. Wow. Um, I, you know, I'd love to, to, to find out. Uh, we saw a little ooh in the chat there, James, from Christian Rudolph. I wonder if it's a uh, ooh of, like, impressive call or if it's an ooh, like, ooh, like, really willing to go for it. Because that's it's not easy. I mean, we, of course, can see he had the best hand, but it's like, 
Uh, it's a huge ICM pressure to 40 big blinds there with Ace Jack. So, but Vinton, you know, feeling it. You know, you can have a lot of sort of all in confidence too when you're winning a lot of races, and we've certainly seen a lot of that from Vinton lately. So, yeah, really, uh, really impressive to have the, quite frankly, the balls to go for it there and for it to work out. You know, good for him. Ace Queen versus King Nine here. Ace Queen still good. Turn back cold. Check to showdown. And Votten Lowe's back up over 3 million. Chicho yeah, shoving see, small to big. You can see how, uh, even though it was really brutal to lose the, those 2.4 million for Watton loss, it, in the event that Finton does wake up with a hand when he shoves that queen ton of hearts and he does lose, he's still in a pretty good position to finish top two. Um, and now Finton with aces... Oh, just calls. <gasps> oh, no. Trick fours for Chicho. Oh, no. But a nice check from Finton. Happy to just check call now in case Chico does have that four. And then is going to have some bluffs, like some six eights and five eights and what would have been a bluff five six and a quick call, but doesn't double them up, which is really... The most important thing there. I guess it's not has, so easy with aces, is it? <laughs> still crucially has the chip lead. 4.7 million with three players remaining. Wow, they're playing at a very fast pace, Griffin. Yeah, I was about to remark they are definitely playing very quickly. He's eight, ten eight. Fenton still good, gets a fold. Nine's complete. Yeah, trying to induce now a raise that you can just limp. Raise with the strongest pocket nines. Great turn here for Christian to start getting some value from five and eight X hands. Queen certainly would have bet most of the time on the flop, so now he's going to feel very good about betting for value. Ten's going to be a bit tougher to get that value from the eight or the ten, but he goes for it still. And Finton, even though they have been playing fast, James, maybe should take a little pause and really consider what kind of hand he can even beat here and should be able to find a fold, and he does. Still at the 35-70 blind level. And Vincent trying to get his way back up over 5 million. You can see now how Christian Rudolph's blind versus blind strategy is shifting now that he's lost the chip lead. He's giving a little more respect to the fact that Finton is the table captain here, limping hands as strong as nines and King Jack. Just happy to limp call. And we have an interesting comment in the Twitch chat, James, from Schweden Fruda. Finton was really considering bluff raising that river griff slash James. Yep, certainly. Oh, um, oh boy. He's bluffed this river. Finton dropped the whole ATB thing, all right? It's it's I'm surprised that Rudolph is taking this long. I guess there's a potential straight out there. There's a potential flush He's out not there. Folding. But no. I have no yeah, clue. He, he, He's very confused what Finton is trying to represent here. Um, and that's why he's writing that. It, it, it just, it, it's, it's a real, it's a pretty poor bluff is the problem. Um, I don't think it's the best. So that's Got why he can't. 
fold. It doesn't really make any sense, but because it doesn't make any sense, it looks kind of strong, right? And that's oh. effectively the problem. We get a lull from Finton. Flush draw against a pair of sixes here. Straight flush draw. Roll flush draw. All of the draws. All of the time. All of the fun. More, more than a draw, but a flush. And a beautiful one. Wow. King of diamonds. Chris Rudolph, of diamonds would be something. Still trying to make excuses for the previous hand. No clue. Not a slow roll. Meanwhile, it is a straight here. For Chicho, if Bets River gets a fold. And Finson now with Kings opens on the button. A fold. That was a disrespectful that tank. Nerd. All right, Finson, calm down. All right, buddy. Maybe uh, take it easy. Was used to forty tabling and snap everything. Now I think a bit. Lol says Finton. As in lots of love? Are we making friends now? Hadouken in the chat says, Finton, don't go full Karen here. <laughs> <laughs> in fairness, I don't know if it was a disrespectful tank, because he was probably tanking because he didn't think that he would make such a bad bluff. <laughs> Roasted. Shots fired from the commentary booth, too. King Jack versus Sixes. And sorry, yeah, talking to myself in tough decisions. Haha, -ha, I don't care. Good luck. You can see on YouTube. Christian, we're on Twitch, buddy. Please know your online streaming platform. Ooh, Finton getting lucky here. And now with that 10, certainly has to at least feel better about his prospects. He's going to make the call. With that River 5, you know Chicho. He ain't bluffing. Nice take there for Finton. Well... One thing I can tell you, Griffin, about Chicho 70 is that this player satellited in for $215. So into a 5K for 215 bucks, not bad. A total online winnings for this player, 40K, and will more than double that by virtue of this result tonight. Finton yeah. might be a little Fishy gun shy. Makes a really good point. He really wasn't kidding the other night about not knowing about the Cards Up coverage. So Christian thinks he can only watch Cards Up replays on YouTube. He does still doesn't know that there's live streaming of these events. Oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> oh... Well, you know what, James? Whatever he's doing is working, so I don't even think anyone should tell him. Maybe some of his friends <laughs> even know that he doesn't know, but, I mean, if you finished top five in four bloody Stadium Series events, don't, don't, don't start looking at the thing it's and overanalyze. Like, go in there blind. This is your, you know? This is your Carry on talking to yourself. Do your thing. Exactly. So they do go. So they, they they go up on YouTube later, James. Is that what I'm here to tell me? Yes. Basically, the final tables go up as uh, highlight shows on YouTube the next day. 
nice Fenton with a beautiful edge here. And we can see the stack to pot ratio only about 1.5. So uh, Fenton may be going to want to find a way to get the rest of Chicho's chips. Of course, we can see that Chicho just has three fives. So it's going to be difficult to do that unless he had maybe checked Chicho, maybe rivering a three or a five that was a diamond. So Chicho has dropped below the 20 big blind mark, 1.2 million. And Finton building up that chip lead, now playing more than 5 million. Wins another pot, yeah. like that 5.4 million. And now that there's so much more separation, uh, James, Finton's really going to be able to put pressure on uh, Christian Rudolph when he wants to. Christian, so close to that big, I think around 20, is it 15, 20,000 dollar jump between second and third? Yeah, All that it's money basically, is really uh, up there for first, second. It's 20 grand. It's 34,000 for third and then 53,500 for first and second. Yeah, so that actually lends to so much sort of information regarding uh, Finton's big call with the Ace Jack suited with that massive pay jump. Putting it all on the line there with Ace Jack. Really brave of the Irishman. And you can He's see... Channeling the happy to get luck of the Irish. Back. Yeah, and you can see here that Christian Rudolph not even three-betting inducing, you know, with 40 big blinds with pocket jacks because he doesn't even really necessarily want to get it in here. Now, though, very happy to get it all in against Chicho. Ooh, out -plopped. It's and Chicho probably time. pretty unfoldable here. Um, as you can see him check raise all in wants to induce some bluffs, but then also expecting him to have a Jack sometimes does have the hearts in the back door, but needs an eight. Nope. And that will see a double up for Chicho 70 and it will see Christian Rudolph. Votenlos become the shortest stack at the final table. Chicho now playing 2.4 million. Christian Rudolph playing 1.9 million. Vincent still dominant chip leader. Ooh. Two pair Two for Rudolph. Pair. The gut shot for Fenton. Pair of sixes for Chicho. Check to showdown. Ship it to Rudolph. And now it's Chicho who's back at the bottom of the leaderboard. Yeah, 97 started in this event. That's not 97 unique players. There were 76 players and 21 re-entries. And now we are down to three. We just talked about the prize money a short while ago. Of course, head prize is a major factor. The bounties are where it's at in a progressive knockout. But also, payouts of $34,000 to third and $53,500 to first and second. Finton now with the ace seven 30 ish big blinds effective against Rudolph might just want to put on pressure with the three, but, but might also shove. And this is probably going to be too strong a hand for Chris Rudolph. But again, we've talked about the difference James between second and third place. And Chicho is just going to finish third. So often if he folds here, um, Loving this leveraging. Uh, oh. but it's just too good of a hand. Seven. No, eight hold. And we see the switcheroo again as Christian Rudolph reclaims the chip lead. 5.4 million. Vincent hand can't down win to every all in And you can see how Fintan's strategy changes so much between playing against Chicho and some of these regs. See him often folding hands like this from the big blind facing a raise, but against Chicho 70, very happy to take one off. And now might even have an opportunity to bluff at this pot, and he does. 
and you can see how quickly Chicho folds. So that's that's really a testament to how comfortable yeah. he play, feels playing against them, him or her. Now, this three bet is probably not going to work, but a, what an action flop, James. Yeah. The pair for Votenlos and the nut flush draw for Fenton, who continues for 400K, gets a call and oh my God. makes his flush on the turn. Meanwhile, the straight for Votenlos. Literally the best card in the deck for him is the eight of clubs. It just doesn't get any better. Watt and Law's going to comfortably bet, be happy to call off the check raise all in, which is definitely, definitely coming. There's no reason for Finton to just call here. Give us the nine of clubs. Ooh. Boring. I'd like to see a straight flush tonight. Come on. Guess Finton thinks that he's probably going to get a shove from a nine on the river anyway. So... And he does get it, and that's going to switch things around again. You can basically ignore wow. that A7, A10 now. We're kind of back to where we were before that. Yeah. Back to the beginning. I think I'm right in saying, Griffin, that Spraggy went up against Christian Rudolph as well. When Spraggy was playing three-handed the other night, Christian Rudolph was in the mix. Tomorrow night, yeah. it's Votenlos versus Ali Shaban. We're basically just going to give everyone a chance to play against this guy. <laughs> it's Christian Rudolph's show. We're just watching it. Okay, well, that's a pretty good flop for Chicho. But still does not get there. And one loss now. Going to create some separation and actually still shoves for value. Queen Jack Good on spot. the button. And see, For this Chicho is where I would say, chips. Griffin, and that was arguably a bit of a tight fold there. This is where Chicho is definitely edging into the danger zone. It's dropped below go. the million mark. And kind of is in that open shipping stack size now. As we see, Finton get a walk, and Finton closing in on six million chips. Top pair here for Christian Rudolph. Bets and now fewer than 10 big blinds. Danger zone confirmed for our satellite winner. In for $215. Could be going out soon. Finton with that opportunity for that bounty. Certainly going to stuff it in with the 8-7. Quick call from Chico. Eight on and the flop. Ooh, King on the turn. Ten on the river. Two pair for Chicho. Doubles up to 1.3 million, but still playing fewer than 20 big blinds. And Finton still has more than 5 million and a strong chip lead. Another nice all-in spot here for Finton. Ooh. Flop's pretty good here. Woo! Almost wanted to check just to see.
sure Shirley Finton comfortable just stuffing this in Rudolph's face. In your face, Sevens guy. And Vincent wins another one, now up over 6 million, close to 6.3 million. Raises small to big, gets a fold, doesn't even have to shove on him. And we see Chicho back to 10 big blinds. Now, Jack 8 versus 9 7. Wow, another massive flop here. But the check back from Finton, which you can expect with the mid pair. Finton now up over 6.6. .6 million and chicho now nice getting a little out of his comfort zone shoving the king three suited for just like nine big blinds good for him go chicho oh, and this is unfortunate for finson to run fours into nines chicho set for a double up oh my gosh set, over set one out Successfully dodged by Chicho, who is now back up over 2 million. In fact, pretty much tied with Christian Rudolph right now. It would be very unfortunate for Chris and Rudolph not to get into the big echelon of caches at 1-2, considering how the rest of this final table went until we got three-handed. But lose a couple all-ins, it can really turn for you. Vinton now, knowing that Chicho has such a difficult time calling Big river bets and actually just bets 120k, which maybe just pair, targeting non paired hands by throwing out a min bet. Got called there by that the threes. Did not work. And now pocket kings for Chicho. All in. She falls. Oh boy. <laughs> uh. And that's another hand for Finton. And a walk for Votenlo. So at this point in time, we say, Griffin, thank you very much for your analysis of this play so far. We carry on three-handed. We will catch you tomorrow, sir. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Griffin. And we welcome Joe Stapleton back inside the Poker Stars Arena as we continue this three-handed action. Finson hand, easy with aces, has the chip lead right now. Satellite winner, Chicho, second in chips. And Christian Rudolph, sevens guy, is now the shortest stack. And is involved in action here with King 8 against Finson's Queen 6. And it's top pair. Who is, not, <clears throat> who is not to root for here, right? Finton, fan favorite, sevens guy. He's a meme. And Chicho, satellite winner. Three great stories here. Three very deserving players uh, who all would be incredibly exciting to watch take this down. Absolutely. I'm loving the fact that like every other day or so, we have a satellite winner go deep in these things. Life-changing money for a lot of these people. I am, as they say, here for it. 
Okay, well, this is an interesting spot. Finton opens the button with Jack-10 suited. The all-in with Queens gets a fold. Chicho closing it on the 3 million mark. This is extraordinary. You know, there's been not a lot about Chicho's play that would make me say, oh, this is clearly an amateur. Oh, this is probably a satellite winner. We are able to identify those people sometimes. And I wouldn't say there's anything about Chicho. Here we go, all in a call. And it's a queen on the river. And Christian Rudolph doubles up through Finton. And we get the change in chip lead once again as Christian Rudolph reclaims the number one spot. Finton and Chicho pretty much tied in second. Easy with aces. Wow, what an a-hole. Is he calling Finton an a-hole? Well, they did have a little bit of a to-do earlier on, but most of the aggro was coming from Finton with a more reasonable response from our friend Seven's guy. Hmm. Um, one thing, by the way, Joe, that we observed during the last break when we dropped by the medium buy version of this heat is that the prize money in the medium is bigger. Is it bigger? The winner of tonight's 530 version of this 8 Max Progressive Knockout gets 66k plus head prizes. By the way, Huge for people who are right spoiling, there. I'm going to get you banned in Fenton's channel as well. Just so you know. Fury, fuming right now. I'm adding a timeout to your ban. <laughs> You're on the list. You are OTL. You're on the list. I'm going to get Finton, Spraggy, Lex all to ban you. Every single one of them. Need to find a way of having some connection where when you ban someone or time them out, that it sends some kind of electrical signal down the internet to their keyboard. So it's a bit like that scene in Ghostbusters where Bill Murray's flicking the switch on the, uh, on the students. But there's some actual physical punishment for this horrific transgression. I mean, what we can do is we can just put it into emote only mode when we know that something like this is going to happen or put it in subscriber only mode because you know people who are shelling out five bucks because their true fans aren't going to spoil stuff. I would hope so. I would hope so. Oh. Chopportunities here. When Chopportunity knocks. Get checked to showdown. You it answer does. Song. It's a chop pot, Joe. You know what they say. Everyone loves a chop Everyone pot. Everyone loves a chop pot. On my end, that was perfect. That was literally the best we've ever done, not just Stadium Series. I don't know what went out. <laughs> um, oof, the fact that Sid Hoffman pain. typed, oof. Raksha, whose judgment I trust, says, nope. Um, Karath says, that was so bad. Fail. Hold on, one, person, one person wrote, ready for Carnegie Hall, and I'm going to just assume that one is the correct. Minus 79.45, so bad. Miles out. Spoiler alert, your timing sucks. L-M-A-O. Lamau. Are they saying, do they mean L-M-F-A-O and we sound as good as the band L-M-F-A-O? Because I am not sorry for party rocking. Party rockers are in the house. We've got Ace Jack against Ace Deuce here. And we have got the wheel on the river for Chicho. It is domination rotation for the satellite winner. There's just no way, no way that Chicho would ever fold. Luckily, I don't think Fenton will pay a river bet. Yeah. Um, now, we've got a treat for you, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, we only get Ruthless on a Sunday, but on a Friday night, we have got some bonus Adam Levy for your viewing and listening <laughs>
pleasure. Uh, looking forward to hearing your analysis on this one, Adam. We are super pumped for this three-handed battle involving Christian Rudolph, Seven's Guy, and our very own Finton Hand. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, didn't Finton just final table something the other day as well? Correct. Yep. Like, uh, yeah. So back to back, or you know, this is pretty sick. It's it's a second five k final table of the week. Impressive. And you said satellite winner and. And wait, so Watanalos is actually just Seven's guy now? We figured it out. Uh, we'll, like, explain that, because I remember we had him last time, or two weeks ago. Yes. Okay, so so Watanalos is uh. Christian Rudolph, a German player, final table at the PCA a few years back, but also was the guy who was interviewed about why the Germans would always scream seven whenever there was an all-in. And he explained about the fact that when your planes are flipping games, the seven that is always coming. And so that's why he's known as seven's guy. Also because we forgot to ask his name when we interviewed him back in 2014, but that's not important. What is important is you talk about <laughs> results and you talk about final tables, Adam. Votenlos this week has come second, third, and fourth in stadium series high buying events. You know, I mean, it really is a shame. That's, that's nuts. Yeah. It's a shame that we didn't get his name when we interviewed him because it, it turns out he's not like new to being a good player. Like he was a very good player then. We were just no, not aware of, of him. And unfortunately, Seven's guy took hold long before. I remember Maria, how was the first person? I was like, oh no, no, Christian Rudolph is actually a really good player. I was like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but in the same way, Joe, that we were first exposed to Olashemian as that drunken guy on Martin Schleich's rail, that's that's more important than what they became or what they then turned out to that's be. That's right. He can go cry in a big pile of money <laughs> if he doesn't like it. So I think I remember one there. Th this is just so. Wait, Chicho satellited from like just i mean whatever satellite like was it like a five dollar was it fifty dollar 215 dollar satellite into this 5k event wow wow awesome. but it is finton who is the low man right now with fewer than 15 big blinds oh this is an interesting spot king jack against ace jack domination nation and ace, jack, high, flop, and Christian Rudolph drawing dead on the turn. Chicho doubles up and is pretty much tied for the chip lead. Ooh. <gasps> oh, wow. Yikes. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm really rooting for... Finton here. We gotta get we gotta get him some double ups. I I don't know. I, I just want to see him take one down. And I mean, they could be going heads this up. This is yeah. I, I think yeah. See, Waddle or Christian what is it Christian Rudolph? I mean, that yeah, check that's check back. Right. It's just a great check back. You know, it's like it's it's so hard to to bust that guy. No wonder it's his third final table of the week. Vincent all in with oh, fives. Boy. Chicho with King Queen. We could be off to the races here. I think we're flipping. There it is. Here we go. The coin. And it's a queen high flop. Vincent needs a five. Does not hit on the river. It's the full house for Chicho 70. And Vincent goes out in third place, cashing for a total of $51,427. So remember, he bubbled that final table the other night, went out in 10th. It was Spraggy who came third in that event. But now Finton uh, has a third place finish in a 5K buy-in event. Good showing, sir. We are now heads up, and it is the satellite winner, Chicho, with better than a two-to-one chip lead over Christian Rudolph. Good fold there. This be wow. <laughs> Watanlos is yeah, the end sure. boss here. Rudolph's the end boss. You know, kind of, for, except for that this guy. Rudolph hasn't closed one out yet this week. A third, a second, a fourth. A f I kind of feel like he's earned it. Oh. <gasps> kind of feel like Chicho might might have the title here if he holds. They hold. Oh. 
Wow, full house over full house. What a story. <laughs> so fast. This action's happening. Can't even keep up with it. So now Christian's on top with a two to one chip lead. Yeah. Does this really count as domination? You know, I, I mean, I guess some level. You know, when it's six five or six four, can you really count that? No, I don't. I don't think you can, unless it's me versus moneymaker, and then I will complain about it. There you go. And their bounties are dead even. They've eliminated the exact, not even just the same number of people, but the same. People have had the yep. same amount on their heads? That's wild. I'm just checking in the lobby, and they've both claimed nearly 24K in uh, head prizes so far. That's awesome. And Wanlaw is trying to bluff this with the hammer. Gets called. And that's a double up for Chicho now. What's happening? Whoa. This is nuts. Good call there on the end, by the way. It's like second pair with straights out there, I think. <laughs> this has been just so fast. This has been so crazy. Isn't it nice when there's no no time banking? Both of them are playing. I don't know if you ever saw it, but LG <laughs> versus like Steve Betts in the 25K heads up or something, W Coop a while back. It was the fastest poker online poker i've ever seen no waiting i mean obviously we like the fast pace of play adam and obviously we don't like the huge tanking whether that's live <laughs> or online but yeah. I, I think just the occasional moment just to catch our breath <laughs> might just be nice. christian rudolph cannot it, it catch a break right now it is hard to have you know some in-depth uh you know strategy talk when Five hands Tell elapsed in, in the 30 game. seconds. <laughs> Tell me he gets to show down with a six. That's it. Gets cold. Chicho. There you go. Oh my goodness. Wow. And R Rudolph on the ropes now. Playing. Chicho has 18 got... bigs. Oh, look at oh this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> King of hearts one time. No. Chicho has got seven. Christian's number, and that number is seven. Seven of hearts is good. And now, queen nine on the button, 10-6 in the big. Top pair for Jeez, Christian we've, Rudolph. We've said this before, and there are probably lots of incredible players out there, right? But that just haven't had the opportunity to get into these spots and we may have discovered one of these people with chicho because look i'm not exactly the most qualified person in the world to analyze this play and rank them at the same as a watt and Lowe's or a dan oss or a c darwin but this dude's holding his own oh, oh wow. here we go chicho don't slow roll my guy. dad He's, he's calling us, hey, Dad, I just want to let you know I'm about to win a million dollars. Calls with Jax. Jax are holding. Just has to swim an ace on the river. No Barry Greenstone. Wow. We have a result. We have a winner. It is the satellite winner, Chicho, who takes <laughs> down Heat 27 high. And let's check on the prize money because I want to see what our satellite winner claimed. When you combine that payout of $53,500 with the head prizes, that they took down. So Christian Rudolph cashed out for a total of 77K. Chicho 70, who qualified for $215, wins $130,408.48. So another amazing revolt, result for Christian Rudolph that doesn't quite close it out. It's Chicho 70 who wins the high.